The world of boxing is buzzing with anticipation as a leaked video emerges, showcasing Mike Tyson's intense preparation for his upcoming bout against Jake Paul. This unexpected glimpse into Tyson's training regime has stirred reactions from fans, athletes, and prominent figures within the boxing community, including none other than Floyd Mayweather, one of the sport's most decorated champions. The footage in question reveals an older yet fiercely determined Mike Tyson engaging in a rigorous training session. Despite his age, Tyson appears to be in remarkable shape, demonstrating his signature speed, power, and ferocity that once crowned him the youngest heavyweight champion in boxing history. The video showcases Tyson pounding heavy bags, mastering combinations, and displaying footwork that belies his years, signaling a serious return to form. Floyd Mayweather, a figure synonymous with boxing excellence and strategic acumen, has not held back his thoughts regarding the leaked footage of Tyson's training. Known for his insightful commentary and often unfiltered opinions, Mayweather provides a unique perspective on what this comeback means for Tyson and the implications it has for his fight against Jake Paul. Mayweather commends Tyson's dedication and physical condition, highlighting the respect he holds for his fellow boxing legend. He notes the intensity and seriousness Tyson brings to his training, pointing out that, despite the generational gap and the critics, Tyson's commitment to the sport remains undiminished. Mayweather acknowledges the hard work and discipline required to perform at such a level, especially at Tyson's age, reinforcing the idea that age is just a number when it comes to true champions. However, Mayweather also offers a word of caution, reflecting on the unpredictability of boxing. He emphasizes that while training footage can show one's physical readiness, the true test comes inside the ring. Mayweather hints at the different dynamics that Jake Paul brings to the fight, a younger, less experienced, but hungry fighter looking to establish his legitimacy in the sport. Mayweather suggests that Tyson's experience and skill set him apart, but he also acknowledges the wildcard element that Paul represents. Amid widespread concerns for Mike Tyson's well-being in the boxing community, the 57-year-old veteran offered reassurance to his fans in a recent interview. Tyson emphasized the excitement of the upcoming fight, highlighting the inherent unpredictability of the sport. It's going to be entertaining, he declared confidently, emphasizing the mutual fighting spirit shared between him and his opponent. With both fighters poised to exchange blows, Tyson acknowledged the inherent uncertainty of the outcome, underscoring the essence of boxing where anything can happen. While Tyson eagerly anticipates his return to the ring to face Jake Paul, experts weigh in on the matchup, providing valuable insights. Moreover, there's intrigue surrounding the connection between Tyson's comeback and the involvement of boxing legend Floyd Mayweather, adding another layer of interest to the unfolding narrative. Discover the unexpected twist lurking in this video, so be sure to stay tuned and uncover it. The boxing community buzzes with anticipation for the impending clash between Jake Paul and Mike Tyson. Despite the plethora of opinions from notable fighters flooding in, there's one conspicuous silence. Floyd Mayweather Jr. Why has the undefeated champion chosen to remain tight-lipped about this matchup? The answer is intriguing and will soon come to light. While Mayweather himself hasn't voiced his thoughts on Jake Paul's bout with Mike Tyson, two fighters closely linked to the boxing legend have recently stepped forward to share their perspectives. In a recent chat with Fight Hub TV, Ryan Garcia openly expressed his concerns about facing off against Mike Tyson, confiding in Jake Paul. Garcia's words danced between camaraderie and earnest caution, skillfully weaving a warning into their friendly exchange. Huge, bro. There's no way Jake Paul is taking this, bro. Yeah, I, I Jake can't. Paul's not gonna knock him out, but I got Jake Paul winning by, you know, split decision, you know? Type oh, shit. 
Wayne, I, I want to see your live reaction when Jake Paul gets knocked out. I just want to look. I I need to see whoa, it, bro. Can you? Whoa, hang, can you what's record your hate yourself? Him, though? What's your hate I don't have him? no hate, bro. My problem is he's make. I've let it go too long. He's making a mockery of boxing. He's stealing mockery. so much money out of these kids that really put in. And what I'll give him credit to. He is he portrayed Tyson not just as an opponent, but as a formidable force of nature, an athletic beast whose ring prowess defied both age and expectation. This wasn't just idle chatter. It was Garcia's attempt to align perceptions with the harsh realities of boxing and the distinct challenge posed by Tyson. Garcia's strategy embodied a subtle fusion of authentic care tinged with a dash of potential competition as he proposed the notion of a super bout with Paul. However, at its essence, his communication underscored the unmistakable weight of Tyson's iconic stature and devastating punching prowess, portraying him as a formidable opponent not to be underestimated. Garcia's cautionary words thus functioned as a dual tribute to Tyson's lasting legacy and a sobering reality check for Paul, highlighting the daunting task that awaits him. This gesture emphasized a profound reverence for the sport and its warriors. Recently, Kermel Moten, Mayweather's protege, voiced his prediction. He suggested that Tyson K might pull out early, leveraging his skills. Moten hinted at Tyson winning, possibly in the first or second round, so who's your pick? I'm backing Tyson. Moten's analysis of the upcoming fight provides a strategic viewpoint to assess the battle. His commentary underscores a vital approach for Tyson. The imperative need to harness his legendary strength and boxing expertise to clinch an early triumph. This tactic takes into account the stark physical dynamics of the clash. Despite Tyson's impressive fitness and power, he confronts a notable age gap against the youthful, nimble, and undefeated Jake Paul. Moten's examination explores the intricate dynamics of combat sports, where youth frequently offers an edge in stamina and recovery. Jake Paul, possessing a significant age advantage, epitomizes a contemporary type of fighter. His evolution from a social media figure to a professional boxer might mislead some into undervaluing his prowess within the ring. Nonetheless, his recent triumphs have shattered skepticism, revealing his dedication and boxing proficiency. For Tyson, the challenge ahead presents a unique dual task. He must first bridge the age gap with his unparalleled experience, coupled with the ferocious power that once crowned him the youngest heavyweight champion in history. Moten's argument is straightforward. Tyson's optimal chance lies in tactically utilizing his strengths to nullify Paul's advantages swiftly. Given Tyson's historic knack for overpowering opponents in the initial stages of a bout, Moten's strategy aligns with Tyson's inherent capabilities. Furthermore, Moten's analysis delves into the psychological dimension of the fight. A swift and decisive move by Tyson could potentially unsettle Paul, who, despite his confidence, has yet to confront an adversary of Tyson's caliber and force. Tyson's initial onslaught, brimming with shock and intensity, has the potential to alter the game's trajectory significantly, tilting the odds in his favor before Paul can unleash his youthful vigor and stamina. Moten's astute observations inject an added dimension into the discourse surrounding the bout, underscoring the strategic intricacies akin to a high-stakes chess match within the boxing ring. It transcends mere displays of physical prowess, evolving into a nuanced clash of strategies where seasoned experience clashes with the exuberance of youth and the resilience of endurance. By highlighting Tyson's imperative to establish dominance from the outset, Moten crafts a strategy for triumph that not only recognizes the obstacles, but also maximizes Tyson's distinctive abilities in the bout. This nuanced perspective elevates discourse surrounding the match, granting fans and analysts alike a more profound grasp of the strategic intricacies at hand, thereby intensifying the anticipation. Additionally, fresh insights have surfaced regarding the Tyson vs. Paul showdown. As per Michael Benson's recent update on X, the upcoming July 20th showdown will notably ditch the headgear, a decision backed by Jake's MVP co-founder, Nakisa Badarian. Moreover, there's potential for the Texas Commission to give this match the professional fight seal, adding a whole new level of legitimacy and intensity. 
With the possibility of these outcomes affecting the fighter's professional records, the stakes are high. This move to eschew headgear and seek professional sanctioning shifts the event from a casual exhibition to a serious athletic competition. It demonstrates Tyson and Paul's dedication to facing off in a genuine test of skill, amplifying the fight's importance within the boxing community and among fans. The omission of headgear, particularly reminiscent of traditional professional boxing regulations, promises a rawer experience that could captivate both purists and casual fans alike. However, the latest update has sparked discontent among fans, with many expressing their dissatisfaction on social media. Similarly, Tyson's return to the boxing ring against Roy Jones Jr. and his upcoming bout with Jake Paul signal a revival of interest in his storied legacy. Tyson's decision to participate in these fights reflects a larger trend of iconic figures reshaping their careers to connect with modern audiences. Unlike traditional comeback attempts in sports, these exhibition matches are not merely about reliving past glories, but rather about reaffirming their cultural significance. These events transcend mere sporting contests. They are captivating spectacles that merge athleticism with the compelling narrative of a comeback. Leveraging the allure of celebrity and the expansive reach of social media, these matches provide a platform for legends to showcase their skills while delivering entertainment that resonates across a diverse audience spectrum. This transition underscores the dynamic evolution of sports entertainment, where athletes take center stage in narratives that extend beyond competitive arenas and penetrate deep into the realm of pop culture. Mayweather and Tyson's foray into exhibition boxing symbolizes their remarkable adaptability and enduring allure. They transcend the title of mere fighters. They are iconic figures who have adeptly navigated the evolving landscape of fame, athleticism, and entertainment. Their encounters with the Paul brothers aren't just showcases of skill. They serve as a testament to their lasting legacies and their capacity to captivate successive generations. In doing so, they bridge the chasm between boxing's golden age and the digital era, ensuring that their names continue to be intertwined with the sport they once ruled supreme. The prevailing consensus among both professionals and enthusiasts tilts towards acknowledging the formidable prowess of Mike Tyson, recognizing it as a pivotal determinant that could sway the outcome of the impending fight. However, Jake Paul's youthful endurance and unorthodox journey through the boxing world inject an element of unpredictability as the fight date draws near. Consequently, the boxing community finds itself divided, with each camp steadfastly adhering to the belief that their respective champion, be it the seasoned legend or the ambitious newcomer, will emerge victorious. The Tyson vs. Paul bout transcends mere competition. It symbolizes the dynamic evolution of boxing, where legends and rising stars intertwine to craft narratives that captivate global audiences. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned, and we will catch you in the next video.